Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. Today what I'm going to be doing is a July week four check-in and then a month end reconciliation. So overall, a really good month. Um, I did change up my budgeting system this month, which was very different for me in that I didn't have categories. I just had a lump sum of cash that was all of my envelopes combined. And I'm really thinking this is the way I'm gonna go forward with my budget. So let's go ahead and do a check-in. So you're gonna see that I did have category budgets that I did, but um, I'm way over in some and way over, way under in others. So the total amount I was under. So let's go ahead and check in. So first one, I didn't have anything for groceries this week. Um, my husband is still out of town. So I kind of been just eating what's here. So I ended groceries. My budget was 500. I spent... Four hundred and seventy eight. So I had twenty two dollars left and a total of four seventy eight. For eating out, <laughs> this will surprise no one. Um, I spent nine dollars at Sonic. I need to stop with the Sonic five dollars. Eight dollars, five dollars, and then Cafe Rio twenty dollars. So I spent forty-seven dollars at for eating out. I was already over seventy, so I am over one seventeen, and that means my budget of. 200 plus 117 I actually spent 317 dollars that's a lot okay um my next category is allowance I went to the DMV and finally um got my travel ID license which I did not have to have for my trip coming up because I'm going to be traveling with my passport it's an international trip but my license picture was expired, which I didn't even know that was a thing. And it's been a while. So I went and did that. And that was $25. I was kind of surprised that they let me pay in cash, but they did. So, so I had $128 going into this week minus the 25. So I had $103 remaining. And my budget for the month was 200 and I only spent, um, let's see, 97. Right, okay. So my total spent was $97, which never ever happened. So I think with not having to borrow from other categories and use allowance for things that I was over categories. It just really kind of freed up to spend what I need to spend in each category. So for giving, I spent a hundred dollars. So I have zero remaining and I spent the 400. And then medicine, um, I had said, if you had watched my planning video, that I was working with my doctor's office because all of my prescriptions were need to be renewed when I was on my trip. So I wouldn't have enough to take on my trip and I was requesting an antibiotic. So I always travel with an antibiotic just in case. And I have a new doctor, so I wasn't sure if they were going to work with me on that or not, but they were great. So I had $87 for refills and antibiotic. And then I picked up my daughter's medicine, which was 30. So for medicine, I did 117. I am definitely over here. So my budget was 100 minus 9 minus 117. So I was over $26, which 
this should not have been a month that I had that much in refills because I get 90 days and my husband was out of town so I knew I wouldn't be picking up med, you know, prescriptions for him. So I'm fine with that because I know that in August I won't have any expense for refills which is when I thought everything would refill so that's fine. And then for... Okay, so that's it there. I did redo my code. So some of the categories that I normally just kind of write in my sinking funds, I really wanted um, a label for. So one thing I added was a blue one for my mom. I spent $15. Um, she needed a new watch and a shirt. So on my mom's, um, so my sinking funds is kind of what happened here. So my mom is actually a sinking fund slash envelope. So I had used everything. I added 165. I used nine and 15. The 67 my dad paid me back for. So 165 minus nine minus 15 is 141. Now because this money was just kind of rolled into one number, um, I don't know if I'm going to roll this money in or not, so I'll kind of figure that out. And so to go through the rest of the sinking funds, um, my car fund, I didn't add. I'm still at $25,000. Um, for Christmas and gifts, this was um, the first time that I took all the money out for gifts and just used it in cash, and I actually really, really like this way. Um, I knew it was going to be a real expensive month. I had my daughter's birthday, two of my sister's birthdays, my sister-in-law, um, it, a friend, <laughs> we, you know, a lot of big birthdays in the month of July. So I started with, uh, 2,544 and that's in my capital one account. I took out a hundred, a thousand dollars in cash. I spent $902. I should have $98 left in gifts. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. So gifts also included meals for like my daughter's birthday. I took some of her and her friends and my dad out. And then of course my other daughter. Um, I have a massage booked for her on Sunday plus the tip. So everything that was birthday related. Um, came out of this. So I thought I would spend the whole thousand. I'm glad I have anything left. Instead of putting this into my Capital One account, I am just going to keep this in cash for August birthdays. I only have three and they're not as big as the normal ones. So I did have to go ahead and put a tracker in here because I was getting really super confused. So um, I am liking keeping a tracker in this particular envelope. So this is going to roll over. And actually, it should be 2544 plus 98. So in gifts, I'll start August with 2642. For fitness, um, my goal, my Starting balance was 200. I didn't spend anything. I have not been able to work out. I am going to a podiatrist today, so hopefully um, they're going to figure out what's wrong with my foot and I can get back to working out. Um, medical, I started with 20. Why do you keep saying 20? 200. I spent 19. I will be spending out of this category today. 200 minus 19 for 181. I really did buy a lot of things that probably could have gone into medical um, for my foot, like different inserts, a, a brace and things like that, but I ended up taking it out of my allowance instead. For vacation, I started out with 2,305. I added 600. I took out 300 for my trip to the beach. And then the rest of the money on vacation, I actually used my weekly money for. So 2305 plus 600 minus 300, so 2605. 
So for my Etsy shop, I did so good all month until last week, uh, or this week, I needed to buy some things for the shop. So I started with 444, I added 500, I used 120, so my ending balance is 824. For technology, okay, so I've been doing $500 this whole time, and this should have been paid off. But then when I looked at the app, it reverted to what the actual payment was supposed to be. So it is the Apple Card app <laughs> is really confusing to me. You can't, like I'm trying to make another payment and it's telling me it's already paid. Nothing's due until August 31st or 30th because it is a like a deferred amount. So it's an interest-free amount. So they divided the number by 12 months. I only have 214 left to pay. So, wait, I have, no, it's more than that. So I have four, I had 468 minus 214. I have $254 to pay. So. If I can't figure it out on the app, I'll go ahead and call and I'll just roll that into uh, the month of August. So I started with 1,154. I added 300 from my birthday money. I paid 214 on my installment plan. So I now have 1,240 when the two, so I'll have 986 in that account once this computer is paid off, which will be, I guess, in August now. And my savings challenge, I started with 2,345. That is my 52 week challenge to have $5,000 saved. This month I added 555. I am now 2,900 in my savings challenge. My birthday, um, so my birthday was in the month of July, so I had $600 saved. I added $100. I used $700. So I really only bought myself something for $300. I took $200 out just to use, you know, for whatever. And then the balance, the $500, I put $300 into technology and I put $200 into clothing. So that envelope is now empty. Um, we already talked about my mom. So for clothing, I started with 280. I added 200. I added another 200 for my birthday money. And so I should have $680 in that envelope. And I'm trying to wait till closer to my trip to go ahead and get clothes. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80. So I have 680 in that envelope. Um, I was looking at Amazon in their Amazon closet. When I was working, I did Stitch Fix fix and I loved it because they just sent a box to your home and it was kind of tailored to you. Okay, I don't know why that does not want to focus on that envelope. Okay, so sorry about that. I don't know why. It did not like that envelope though. Um, I'm talking about my camera, by the way. Um, but Amazon kind of has a similar service where you can try on up to seven to eight things. They send it to you and then you return what you don't want and then you pay for what you do want. So instead of paying for the money, paying the money out and then returning it, you would wait and pay after the seven days of if you decide if you want it or not. So um, I do have some things in my cart to try. Um, I like that better than paying for it and returning it and just, you know, moving the money into my account, moving the money out of my account. So we'll, we'll see what, what that is. Um, okay. So that is all of my transactions. So I do have money left in my wallet, which never happens. So I'm going to come back over here. So for household, I was over 136 entertainment i never spent anything so i have 100 and personal care i did not spend this 80. i was going to but then um 
my daughters gave me a gift card for a pedicure so and then I'm getting my hair and everything done in August so so for personal care <clears throat> just flip this open my budget was a hundred I did spend 20 so my total spent was 20 for entertainment my budget was a hundred I didn't spend anything so my remaining Oh, no, it should be zero. And then for household, my budget was 60. <clears throat> it was over 136, so I spent 196. So overall, I'm still way under when I look at what I was over and what I was under. And I still have in my wallet, which if you followed my channel for all, you will know. I never have rollover money. So I still have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So this 281, I'm actually not going to be using for cash stuffing because I've already calculated my back to bank and my cash pull for today for August setup. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to put it aside. Um, I think what I'll do on some of the categories on my sinking funds that I am using, I'm not taking it out of the bank. Like I wasn't going to take gifts out this month. I think I'll put a hundred in gifts and then just leave 100 more in my bank, in my bank checking account. And then I think for, um, my mom since she technically has money left i'll put some money in even though i'm adding some money so i'm going to kind of just use it to fill in but i still want to account for it because otherwise if i don't account for it then it's really going to confuse me when i'm trying to reconcile my budget so for now i'm just going to put this money to the side and uh, kind of figure out what i'm going to do with that and then the only thing that I had left um, for this week was my savings challenge. So, oh, let me go through this first. So my back to bank envelope was a kind of a combination. So 300 of it was um, going back to technology. So instead of putting the money into my account and then pulling money out for my cash stuffing. I went ahead and left it here and then I took $300 from my paycheck and put that into technology. So instead of moving the money in and out, that's kind of how I handled that. So there was 300, 400, 450, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 70, these are the saddest looking ones ever, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So when I calculated my cash stuffing for today, I was taking out $1,960. I subtracted the 675, so I'm actually pulling out, I think it's 1,245. So I'm, that's how I'm accounting for this money. And then the money in my account that should have gone back into the bank i've already pulled out and moved into the categories they belong to so it just saves me a step of taking this money back to the bank and then turning around and pulling the same denominations out so that's how i handle my back to bank envelope so what i can do with this is just go ahead and put this in here the tray for my cash stuffing later on today I mean, it's so rare for me to have any money left. So I kind of went back and forth on what to do with this money that was left. So for now, I'm just going to put it in here. And then I'll be back later on today with my cash stuffing. And then the last thing I have is savings challenge. I don't know how I got off a week. I think I got off when June was a five week month for me and my budget. And then, but for the savings challenge, it was only a four week. I don't know. So the last week of July is 
155. So 155, and that gives me a total of 555 in this envelope. August is a much smaller number, which is nice. Of course, the biggest number for the challenge was also my biggest month as far as birthdays and everything else. Okay, so this is totally messed up. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 555. So 555 and savings challenge. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a, um, like a cash, you know, if I'll go through the cash and, you know, make it all like $100 bills or if I will deposit at some point. But, for right now, I like having it kind of intact. And then I just lock up the envelopes um, when I'm not using it for a video. Okay, so that is July all done. Again, it does not like that. My apologies. I'm not sure why the camera is not liking is it this? No, it does not like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so sorry about that. I took off the autofocus on this and it's struggling, so off my camera. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support for both my channel and my Etsy shop. If you have any questions on how I do um, my closing budget, or my final week budget, let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you shortly to set up August and do cash stuffing for the first week of August. I hope you are all doing well on your budgets and staying safe and healthy. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.